Hello dear students. Very good morning to all of you. Hope you all are very fine and also enjoying your online classes and especially live classes. Okay. So welcome you all to English literature class. Today now you will will proceed further with chapter four, Jim. in the adventures of huckleberry finn so you know so far in the story jim had run away from his father's imprisonment by misleading him and making him believe that he had been murdered by someone you know very well and he has reached Jackson's Island okay and there on the fourth day he goes to explore the island and he realizes that there is someone else apart from him present on the island and he is very much frightened and later on he finds that it was it is nobody but his old friend and miss watson's slave jim really he is very happy he is overjoyed that there is someone who he loves and is around him first of all jim doesn't believe Huckleberry, and he thinks that it is ghost of Huckleberry. But later on, uh, means so difficultly, Huckleberry convinces Jim. But still, there are few questions going on Jim's mind. Okay, and both of them shares the region. of their running away jim says that on one uh, that one day late night he heard his mistress miss watson talking to widow douglas that she was going to sell jim to a slave trader at a hefty amount of money that is 800 dollars and hearing that jim quickly runs away from there okay and before that when hakalveri tells the reason how he has run away uh, playing tricks on his father jim is very much impressed and he says that really it is a very smart trick so now both are very happy to find each other's soul mate you can say is very good friend there okay now so read further so here so we are both in hiding i guess jim so both are here in the same situation both have run away okay and both are being searched for someone or the people uh, both are searched by the people okay that's why to her So we are two of a kind. So they agree that both are in the same situation. But here one thing is here: Huck has been successful in making people believe, okay, that he has been murdered, and also nobody will search for him because they have given up searching for their dead body. Also, they have, they have tried a lot, means uh, throwing. bomb cells on the river what so that hakalbei dead body should come up but 
it didn't. So they have given up hope. So Jeev, so Huckleberry is relieved that his father will not run after him. But now the river has been rising for some days. You know, in the river, it is, it has been water. River water has been rising. Okay, means soon there will be flood. It went on rising and it continues rising for ten or twelve days. And there was flood in the lower parts of the island. And lower parts of the island was submerged in the water, river water, as a river over flooded. So one night we caught a nice lumber raft. What is raft? It is a, it is a uh, two or more flattened wood. Okay, wooden piece which is tied together. Okay, I made a flat structure to cross a river. Okay, this is raft. Lumber means actually here wood. So suddenly a, a flat uh, flat structure made of wood has actually come a uh, floating on the river water. So some 12 feet wide and about 15 feet long. And what is its size? It is nearly 12 feet wide and about 15 feet long. We towed it ashore and hid it among the willows. So Huckleberry and Jim both bring uh, that raft, okay, forcefully pulling it. Okay, and hide this raft behind willow trees. What is willow? This is a tree. In Hindi we say sarpa. This tree grows actually near near the water, watery watery area. Okay. So we so uh, another night just before daylight we saw a wooden house floating down the river, and what and one more, another night, I mean the next night, just it was before morning, okay, just sunrise you can say, just before sunrise, they saw a wooden house floating on the river water and they went near that floating wooden house, wooden cabin in their canoe and looked through the window. So what was there inside? Inside that floating wooden house, there was a little light in the sky by now. By that time there was a little light. Just before sunrise there is a light, you know. So there was a light in the sky and in that light they saw there was a man lying on his face. Okay? A sprawl means lie down with arms and legs spread out. So if they saw there was a man who was lying, spreading his legs and arms. Okay? In this way. And on his face, like this. So they couldn't identify the man because he was lying on his face. And really it was very ghastly sight. What is the meaning of ghastly? Fearful. What is the meaning of ghastly? G H A S T L Y. Ghastly. Fearful. Full. Okay. So Jim carefully climbed in through the window. So Jim climbs, okay, up and enters that wooden house through the window to see, to uh, see whose dead body it is, okay. He goes near and he identifies who the person is, clear. And I was about to follow. Huck was also to go there to see the dead body. But 
he motioned me back with his hand but he made a sign by means jim made a sign makes a sign okay uh, with his hand and why does he make sign he asks jim uh, huckleberry not to come okay why hakal uh, why jim asks hakalvari not to come and see the dead body because who was he can you guess jim had identified by nobody but hakalvari's father that will get to know later on okay so i am just telling you so uh, jim thinks that hakalvari will feel bad that's why he motions uh, hakalvari not to come closer and see the dead body now we grab a few things you could see and some women grab means actually take hold okay so there were a few clothes so they collected clothes from that cabin and which were what were the things there women's clothes scattered around there were women's clothes section okay in that a uh, wood cabin and there was sun bonnet as well what is sun bonnet this is the hat which is tied actually this is a woman's hat which is tied around chin like this so that is bonnet so they took uh, that uh, those women's clothes and bonnet because they thought that they will come they will be very useful sometimes in future for them so here come in handy it means come in handy come in handy come to use okay they'll be very uh advantageous they could use those things they can use those things in future that's why they collected a few women's clothes and a sun bonnet okay because they uh, will need those things because they were living alone so we don't know what thing they need okay and they just come back to the island again so in this way we have finished this chapter you know on the jacksons island hakaveri meets jim and they become very happy they start living together and one day when river water is increasing so lower part of the jacksons island is flooded completely and in the river uh they they uh, get a raft also which was floating and one more day uh, a wooden house comes floating there and in the wooden house a man is there died there is a dead body of a man but dead body is just lying on the face jim goes there and identifies whose dead body it is it is nobody but jim's father jim's fathers okay hakal uh, bhi also wants to see the dead body but jim tells him by the motion of his hand not to go there okay and now there were few clothes women clothes and sun bonnet okay which hakalberry and jim think that they may need in future those things may be useful for them so they bring those things from the hut and they come back to the island again okay in this way we have finished this chapter that's all for today and we'll see you in the next class thank you wish you happy learning bye bye